all right what is going on YouTube it is your boy Jay Rose welcome back to the YouTube channel and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a, a new video a tutorial on how to install car mods into car mechanic simulator 2018 it's a relatively straightforward process all you're doing is downloading the file dropping it into your game files booting up the game and you're done it's not like a GTA 5 mod or anything it's not super complicated I already have the mod installed and the mod downloaded and extracted just to kind of speed up the steps of the video and just for the sake of time to make the video kind of go by faster but I do promise you this mod works I wouldn't be uploading if it didn't work but um just want to give a quick shout out to my sub saying I'm gonna be making a return to YouTube so stay tuned also appreciate the support and all the feedback on my last tutorials drop my likes and comments really do appreciate it but let's go ahead and jump into this video you'll go to the link in the description box it'll take you to this website called modsgaming.us and then once you get there, there'll be a whole variety of cars you can choose from. For example, Kia, Mitsubishi, Ferrari, Chevy, Buick. But for the sake of the video, we're going to be doing the Pontiac Firebird because that's the one I have already downloaded and installed. And so all you'll do is go up to Pontiac Firebird, click on it, and then you'll click Download. And you'll come to this page and you'll have to click free download again now sometimes I actually think it might just go ahead and download but I think I had to click free download <clears throat> for it to work but once you click that it'll pop up at the bottom of the screen and you'll just open it you will extract to your desktop or wherever you want to extract it to um, I end up extracting my extracting mine to the desktop just for the sake of the video but if you did want to extract it to a certain folder for mods then you're more than welcome to do that like I've even done it like right here GTA 4 mods <clears throat> and I have my own GTA 5 mods folder so I mean you can, you can make your own separate folder if you just want to stay organized and if that suits you best but for the sake of the video I extracted it to the desktop and then once you have it extracted to the desktop you're just gonna copy and then you're gonna go to your game files now it should be located on your C drive or whatever drive you had the game downloaded to but for me it's on the C drive now some of you guys it might be under program files or program files times 86 it depends on where you downloaded the game from but mine's gonna be under games and really the only thing you have to do is figure out where your game files is at so once once you figure out where those is at you'll like I said you already copied the folder on the desktop so then you'll go into CMS 2018 underscore data then you go to streaming assets you'll go to cars and these are the cars that are already in the game and you can see Pontiac Firebirds already in the game because I already have it installed but we're gonna go ahead and paste it again <clears throat> just to show you guys that it actually works and then once you paste it you're done you can go ahead and exit out and then go ahead and boot up the game now I already have the game booted up for the sake of time and then if you want to see that the car is actually in the game you go over to car showroom and then you'll pretty much just select the car and you can kind of get a view of it see how it looks in the game and this is also to make sure that it's actually in the game and that you that you did everything correct so then you'll go to Pontiac Firebird as you can see it's in the game so we did the mod successfully <coughs> sorry I feel like I got something in my throat <coughs> but um here you go it's already in the game as you can see it looks really clean look at the headlights they look nice you know wheels tires even got the little like description file on there too like <laughs> like if you were actually going to a car show or something it already has all the details right there but anyways guys that's how you do it I mean like I said there's really not a lot to it you really just like I said going to that website downloading the file extracting it to your desktop copying that whole entire folder and then dropping it into your your game files or not directly into your game files but you go to the, the folders that I showed you within your game files and then drop it in there and then once you do that like I said just boot up the game go to car showroom and, and look for the car that you installed just to make sure it's in there and then you can view it just like like I did here and that's pretty much it like I said I will be updating the description box with different links of different websites that you can also get cars from because I know this one I mean it has a lot of cars but it doesn't have like every car like I would like to see some more Chevy trucks in there, but they don't they don't have any of those at the moment. 
But um, like I said, I'll be updating the description box with links or even coming out with updated tutorials. So just stay tuned for those. But yeah, I mean, that's how you get car mods installed to the game. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment some feedback for your boy, subscribe if you're new, and just keep giving me support. Really do appreciate it. Until then, see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.